Sydney Water is Australia's largest water and wastewater service provider. Every day we proudly provide our customers with world-class water and wastewater services across Greater Sydney, the Illawarra and the Blue Mountains. We're renowned for our safe and refreshing drinking water. We do more than just supply drinking water. Our wastewater network also protects the health of our rivers and beaches, which are central to our iconic outdoor way of life. Each day, we remove about 1.4 billion litres of wastewater from over 1.8 million homes and businesses through a vast complex network of pipes and pumps to our wastewater treatment and water recycling plants. Once treated, the wastewater can then be either recycled or released safely into the environment. Customers are at the heart of everything we do. We strive to deliver essential, world-class wastewater services. This is a responsibility we take very seriously and our customers expect us to get it right each and every time. Wastewater is the used water that goes down sinks, toilets and drains in your homes or businesses. Most of the time, wastewater flows downhill by gravity, but sometimes due to hilly terrain, we use pumping stations to lift the wastewater so it can continue its journey to the wastewater treatment plant for processing before being released to the environment or being recycled. Most of Sydney's wastewater, about 80%, travels eastward through a large network of pipes and pumps to the North Head, Bondi and Malabar wastewater treatment plants before we treat it. It is then dispersed out to sea through the deep ocean outfalls. The remainder is treated to a higher standard and returned to the environment either via smaller ocean outfalls or the Hawkesbury Nepean River system. Once wastewater arrives at a treatment plant, we use different processes to remove impurities. We have 30 treatment plants, 14 are water recycling plants. All these plants operate under strict EPA licenses. At our wastewater treatment plants, we treat the wastewater before it's reused or discharged to rivers or oceans following the EPA's strict license conditions. The EPA also monitors the effect of these discharges on water quality and aquatic life. In the most recent State of the Beaches report, the EPA rated 37 of 38 Sydney Ocean beaches as good or very good. Studies have also shown that our treatment plants have significantly reduced nutrients within the Hawkesbury Nepean, reducing algal blooms and improving overall river health. We operate 12 water recycling plants. Our Jeringong Jaroa plant is operated by Veolia and the St Mary's Advanced Water Treatment Plant is operated by Derubin Water Futures. Our water recycling plants treat wastewater to standards that are suitable for the intended reuse and regulated by the New South Wales Health and the EPA. Treating wastewater is about removing or breaking down what people have added to water that leaves their home or business. We use different processes to remove impurities in wastewater at our treatment plants. Wastewater can go through three levels of treatment called primary, secondary and tertiary treatment. The higher the treatment level, the more things are done to the wastewater to clean it. Different plants treat wastewater to different levels. Northhead, Bondi and Malabar treat wastewater to primary level only. Other treatment plants, particularly those on inland waterways, treat wastewater to all three levels. The processes we use depends on where the wastewater comes from and where it will be released. Primary treatment removes solid particles that settle or float from wastewater. First, we filter it through fine screens to remove solid matter such as paper, cotton tips and plastic. Heavy particles like sand sink to the bottom of a tank and are removed. The wastewater then flows into sedimentation tanks where solids settle to the bottom and oils and grease flow to the top where we can remove them. Depending on the location, primary treated wastewater is released to the ocean through deep ocean outfalls or it's on to secondary treatment. In secondary treatment, the wastewater from primary treatment flows into tanks where microorganisms treat the wastewater, feeding on suspended and dissolved materials including nutrients. 
The liquid then flows into clarifiers where solids settle on the bottom for collection and recirculation. Tertiary treatment comes next. Water is treated with selected chemicals to target any remaining solids for removal in a final filter. Both secondary and tertiary treatment plants disinfect the treated wastewater with chlorine or ultraviolet light. Disinfection is the final step before the water is either recycled or returned to creeks, rivers and oceans. In many instances across Sydney, our tertiary treated wastewater is recycled. Recycled water is a valuable resource. It can be used in homes and businesses for watering gardens and flushing toilets, in industry to irrigate parks, farms and playing fields, and for river health. We treat water to the right level to suit its purpose. In some cases, the treated water goes through an advanced level of treatment that uses membrane technology to clean the water even further. The treated wastewater is pumped at high pressure through reverse osmosis membranes, which removes very small particles, including salts, nutrients and bacteria. The recycled water may also be treated with chlorine or ultraviolet light before it enters the recycled water distribution pipes. Advanced recycled water is used in industry or for improving river health. Our clear, high quality recycled water is fit for purpose and is very safe to use. We have to meet strict recycled water guidelines at all times. Although we treat recycled water to a high standard, it's not for drinking, so we need to keep it separate. We deliver recycled water to customers' properties through purple pipes, so you can easily tell the difference between it and the drinking water system. As for the solid waste removed, primary, secondary, tertiary or advanced, since 2002 we have beneficially used 100% of the nutrient-rich material created from treating wastewater. We call this biosolids. Biosolids are a source of phosphorus, nitrogen and organic matter and can be used in agriculture, horticulture and mining. Each year we beneficially use about 170,000 tonnes of biosolids in agriculture and composting. Sydney Waters biosolids are used by over 40 farms across the central west and southwest New South Wales. Composted product can also be used in horticultural and landscaping applications. Recycling biosolids also enables us to reduce our environmental footprint by making heat and electricity, which we use to power our treatment plants, reducing solids being discharged to the oceans and rivers, as well as recycling a valuable resource for agriculture production. And that's how Sydney Water safely treats wastewater for our customers each day.